I would say this is a moderate amount of armpit boobage. <laughs> okay. Whew, we did it, guys. Uh, I am confusion. I just hate it. For what? You did this for what? So many high neck things with so much makeup. I'm just setting myself up for disaster. <laughs> All in the name of fashion. What do I have to wear it to? But I want the $250 dress. Give it to me. Are you gonna help me film? Or are you gonna take a nap? <laughs> He's gonna take a nap. Ashton actually hasn't been such a good boy. Over the weekend, he got in a fight and then the other cat beat him up <laughs> and bit through his tonsil. So he's on antibiotics, he's on pain meds, although today he should be fine. He's acting like his normal self already, but yeah, he scared mama. Yeah, you scared mama? You like doing that though. Terrify mama. <laughs> Little Ashton update, if you were wondering. I love him with my whole heart, but I'm sure that's not the reason why you came to this video. <laughs> um, oh, hi, by the way. <laughs> hi. Um, yeah, we're gonna do a little bit of an H&M haul today. Very cash, and I didn't get like a ton of stuff. I feel like I say that every video. I'm trying to like cut back on the amount of things that I buy. I know it might not seem like it, but I actually am. I have this bag here. Oops. I have quite a few tops, and then I do have a pair of pants, which I've never bought pants on H&M. Cause I, I don't know, like they never really interest me that much. But these ones did. Ooh, these are so soft. I bought everything in an XXL, and hopefully these are gonna fit. The waistband is very stretchy, so I have moderate hopes. <laughs> Not high hopes, moderate. I think these were described as like a paper bag pant, because you know, they have the very cinched kind of waistband, and then they taper down. So, it looks like, this is kind of how I judge if it's gonna fit me or not. If like the waistband only goes to here, then I know it's not gonna fit. But if it can fit me like from one seam to the other seam on the front, this is a good way to judge it. Um, I know that some people do like the neck test. These are just like little hacks that you can do because I know a lot of places you're not even allowed to try things on feel like the lighting might be a little bit dark. I was trying not to use my big ring lights, but let me see. Maybe if I turn on. Oh, that makes it so much better. I'm sorry that the whole intro was so dark. <laughs> also, I know I keep making these disclaimers, but I'm trying not to show you guys much of my room because I wanna do a room tour. I've been working on it slowly. I kind of, at the beginning, wanted to do like a room transformation, but then I realized it was just gonna to take too long to do that. So I'm gonna be doing a room tour when I have everything done. I just have like a few final touches and then I'll film that for you guys because I'm really liking the way that my room is looking. I feel like it has a completely different aesthetic so, I mean, if you follow me on Instagram, you've kind of seen the progression, but if you don't, like a lot of you guys don't follow me on Instagram, which you should, but yeah, I'm excited about my room. I, I said this was gonna be casual, right? So these are my favorite underwear. They're a thong, so I'm not gonna turn around, but I get questions about them all the time and I will link them down below. They're from Target. I think they're the Arden brand, but they're seamless, like completely seamless, and that's what I like. I don't want any kind of seam because it just tugs and hurts. I just hate it. Okay. Oh, okay.
okay a little tight in the butt let me pull down this angle for you they might be even a little bit too big on the waist hmm the only thing i would say is the pant pockets look very low i wish they were up higher because then it makes me look like I have a saggy butt, which I don't. <laughs> I do feel like I would have to keep pulling them up. And it doesn't have um, belt loops, so I can't put a belt with it. I was so happy when I saw this. You guys know how much I've been obsessed with the high neckline tops recently. I think these were only $7.99, so I did get two of them because... I know that I will spill something on it and I'll be happy that I have a backup. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh God, I don't want to get makeup on this. Okay. Ugh. I need to get one of those things to like cover my face when I try things on. Oh my God. Oh, we did it guys with the pants. I kind of feel like Kim possible Is it the text me beat me if you want to reach me is that it for Kim possible? I feel like it's been so long since I've watched that show, but I Literally think about that naked mole rat all of the time Like what why was there a naked mole rat? This is just honestly a great staple layering piece and then you could put other things on top of it, dress it up, dress it down. It's a good time. I placed this order when it was still raining and now I really don't think I need this turtleneck and this is the thinnest material I've ever felt in my life. You can see me through it, like it's so thin. I love turtlenecks, but this is just so see-through. And this is so soft, I really wish that it was a thicker material because I would keep it. I bet you can't guess what my next thing is. Another high neck top, original, show-stopping, never been done before. Uh, so, <laughs> Another one of Vanessa buys everything in multiples is I got this top kind of looks a little bit more of like that green color, but it was advertised as like a yellow. I don't mind the green though. I have literally no green in my closet. And then they also had another one in this beige. I would say this is more of like a light yellow. Interesting. Like when I compare these two colors, this looks green, right? But it was advertised as like a darker yellow and this is a cream. I don't know, maybe I'm colorblind. Okay, obviously wearing the wrong bra, but we're just gonna try to tuck these in. This is very tight fitting around this waistband. Feels like it's sucking me in. And it is an XL too, I'm confused. I am confusion. I would say this is a moderate amount of armpit boobage. <laughs> what is my channel? These are things that I worry about because sometimes the cups, like the armholes, will go down all the way down here and that's where my bra is. And we don't need to show that much of my underarm. For what? You did this for what? I don't feel like I've shown you the back of anything, but you can kind of imagine it's the same on the back. And I just, I just have tags sticking out everywhere. I kind of want to try on the other one just to see the, the color on my skin tone. So we're going to do that very quickly. I wanted to like quickly, I don't know, not like apologize, but just kind of say that I wish I was uploading more. I know it feels like I'm doing a lot of sponsored content and that is because I've been working with Skillshare and I will be working with them for the whole year. But I want to try to make the oh god. I want to try to make the Skillshare videos as interesting as possible so that you guys don't feel like I'm just constantly doing ads 
but um yeah I really I want to do another video just kind of like a sit down talking with you guys about everything but yeah it, I just haven't been super motivated to make other content and I'm trying to get out of that rut <laughs> and um you know so I think I will do that sit down video and I'll just talk about it more but I want to be making more content for you guys that's kind of why I wanted to do this video I wasn't even sure if I wanted to do this video because I was like oh it's not even that much stuff who would care but I know you guys care like I know you guys like what I make so I need to stop doubting myself so much and just do things that I like but I actually like this shirt better than the other one I buy everything in multiples because I like what I like oh another long sleeve hmm this is also a very thin material but it's in this beige color so I feel like it won't be see-through these honestly look like my sheets <laughs> So many high neck things with so much makeup. I'm just setting myself up for disaster. <laughs> the main reason I got this is because I have a black mock neck like this and I wear it so often to work because it's so lightweight. I don't have to worry about it. It fits. So I think I will keep this because it's so incredibly soft. But is it my favorite? Not really. I don't know. Basics just aren't very appealing for me to buy. I don't really like buying them. <laughs> but then I end up wearing them the most out of my wardrobe. I just like cool things. I like buying interesting pieces and not really the basics. Um, my sister is the complete opposite. She like only buys basics. And I'm like, how do you do that? How? How are you not bored? Oh, I don't know if this is gonna look good on me, but it is this cropped long sleeve and I really liked the outline of the cup area. It just makes it look very expensive. I feel like I've seen a top like this for $200 that looks like this. Oh, this one, the arms are so much tighter. Mm, this is not the right bra. Uh, all in the name of fashion. Honestly, it looks like something from Reformation. If you've ever checked out the curve or like extended sizing for Reformation, it does things to my heart, to my wallet. I have not bought anything that was not on sale, but I want to so badly. Ah, <laughs> I can't pull the trigger. Like, I can't. There's, what do I have to wear it to? But I want the $250 dress. Give it to me. I've been staring at it for so long, trying to see if it goes down in price. And you don't care. But it went down for Christmas, right? Guess what it went down to? 180 180 off of 250 which is pretty good but still it's 180 dollars <laughs> my wallet honey i can't do that reformation is so expensive but it's so good when i'm a millionaire i will be buying reformation until then i'll be buying h&m what else can i tell you I'm very happy with most of the pieces. I think I will only be returning this yellow turtleneck and this pair of pants because they just, they didn't suit my style and that is okay. I almost forgot, I got something from the H&M home section. A little sneak peek of my room tour is this new addition. It's this really cool vase and I think it was super affordable. It was like under $20. And I'm really excited for you guys to see it in my room. <laughs> I think I will film a sit down video either 
maybe after this or tomorrow. I just try to be as real and open with you guys as I possibly can and sometimes it is hard to do that in a haul video and I really haven't done a sit down video in quite a while and that's honestly because I haven't been feeling like myself and it's hard for me to open up about certain things. Um, a lot of things are very triggering for me to talk about as well and so I struggle with that. Um, and I have to set my own boundaries for me and like for my audience. So not to get super serious with you guys, but that's just how I've been doing recently. I appreciate you guys so much. You have no idea. I look forward to reading all of your guys' comments and it's such a big part of what I enjoy doing is doing these videos. So thank you for supporting me. Thank you so much. You have no idea. Um, and subscribe if you haven't. Like, I feel like my channel's growing quite a bit recently and I have no idea why, but if you haven't subscribed, you can do so. And I hope you guys are having a good day. I will talk to you soon, hopefully. Bye.